So a beautiful day outside and, oh, that's wet. <laughs> it rained today and it caught on my chair, not sitting there. Um, yeah, so a little hectic beginning to this video. Um, I am going to be winding up some more yarn because I ran out of the yarn that I was using, so now I need more. And normally, I just unwind it, stick it on my legs, and then roll it into a ball because I, um, I don't know, I just like doing that. But um, my knees have been hurting lately, so I don't think that I can sit with my knees bent like that for too long. So uh, this is kind of a weird angle, I guess, but um, that way hopefully we can see a little bit of what's going on. And sorry, my porch is kind of dirty. So you can see see my mess back there but this swift see brand new never opened and i've had it forever like over a year but like i enjoy winding my yarn in a ball the old-fashioned way i guess that i never opened this but now we'll try it. So I can't even remember what I ordered. Oh, it's a Knit Picks. Knit Picks Yarn Swift. Um, I did order it through Amazon though. Speaking of Knit Picks, I just ordered something from Knit Picks because they had a free shipping sale. And so I'm waiting on that order. I just got a notification today that it has shipped. No, no, no. They printed the shipping label. It hasn't shipped yet. So, can't wait for that to come in and then I'll share all that with you. You guys are going to watch me struggle because I've never actually used a Swift. <laughs> Ever. Ever. Seen it. Done. Um, but never myself have used one. Okay. At first glance, it looks like a tripod. I don't even know if I have the right setup out here to be able to use it. That'd be my husband. He saw I'm recording and now he's run away. Um, but yeah, since I've never used one, I don't know the setup. <sighs> okay, so apparently I'm supposed to secure this to the top or counter with the bottom clamp and make sure there's enough space for the umbrella to open. Okay. The only thing is my winder over here, like I have it secured, but it's like the way this table is built, there's not a lot of like space to hook this stuff on. So you know what? I could use this. I could cut these and then put this around yarn to hold the um, skein in place. My neighbor just got home and he's probably gonna look over here and be like, what is she doing? Who is she talking to? So I have some little thingies here. Okay, so this isn't too bad. Okay, I get it, I get it. Which size do I need though? I think I'm gonna go with this size. Oh my, it is just the right size, maybe. No, I need this to go over here. I don't have enough space. It's gonna have to go all the way to the end. Okay, and then this will open out. I don't know how it stays though. I used the wrong one. The short one's for this middle thing. Did anyone else struggle this much when they first opened theirs? I had to swap the screws out because I used the wrong one. The short one is supposed to go on top. It is humid out here. I'm starting to sweat. Now 
right there. That was like my face tickled. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can do this. Here is probably where I went wrong. Any tips on how to do this part correctly so that I don't totally screw it up like I feel like I did before? All suggestions are welcome. Do I have it too snug, too close together? Is the yarn supposed to be spread out a bit? This is also where the problem began. This yarn winder is trash. I had taken it apart previously and then tried to put it back together and when I, well, I took it apart to try to fix it, but when I put it back together, it sort of worked, but I'm pretty sure I just like permanently ruined it. So I really just need to buy a new one. I could not get the yarn to come loose. I'm pretty sure I grabbed the wrong one. Well, just so I don't ruin my yarn, this one's going the old-fashioned way. I'm proud to say I didn't give up. The sun literally went down in the time it took me to wind this ball of yarn. That took entirely too long, like over an hour. I kept getting tangled. Um, but I will persevere. I have hank number two now, and I need to get done tonight so that I can work on my project. So here we go again. Hopefully this one goes a bit better. <sighs> I didn't change my technique on this one, but I think the hank just wasn't as messed up as the first one. So it, it went on the swift a bit easier. I did decide to spread the yarn out a little bit more and not tighten the width of the swift umbrella in hopes that that would help it to uh, release from the hank a bit easier and it seemed to work better um, but that's not the end of my problems the yarn winder was continuing to be problems um, i didn't have to wind it by hand but as you can see i have one arm turning the swift because every time i would try to turn the yarn winder the tension of pulling on the swift was too much for the yarn winder and it would just give up so I literally spent the entire time in between cranking the yarn winder and turning the swift manually my shoulders hurt so bad after this not to complain but I'm complaining Even the yarn winder sounds like it's hurting. I think I need a new ball winder. This one's so messy. I got a bit smarter and started twisting it from the top. And it could go really fast and I picked up speed. Unfortunately, this was what was most painful. As if this wasn't already hot mess enough, then my ball finder has to fall off the table. And now we're back at it and gonna finish strong and very sore. It's late. It's so muggy and humid outside. <sighs> this was semi-miserable, but it didn't take as long for this one. But as you can see, I had to help it the entire time. So um, I've gotten some practice. Not bad for my first two times. This one, I still was able to use the Swift, but I had to wind it by hand. This one doesn't look 
too bad, um, but I think there's something going on with the gears on my yarn winder, so I'm gonna have to get a different one. Um, I do have a smaller one, which would probably be okay for a lot of these that I'm doing, but um, when I wind my really large uh, skeins of yarn, um, I'd like to have a larger yarn winder, which is, this one's up to 10 ounces, and I think my other one's only up to four, maybe? So it'll probably be fine for these, but, um, and I'll give that a try next time I have to wind something. But for now, this is like the last time I'm gonna use this. It's like, I don't know what to do with it. It's, it's, it's going. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.